watched it back from Saturday's game. How, how do you feel you did in the line of the whole? Um, honestly, I think we did pretty well, but it was just the little things. Like for me, the, most of my penalties came from me taking one too many kicks, not having my eyes in the right spot. It was just those little things that became drive killers. And I mean, you just can't win with the amount of penalties that we had. Do you guys think about the penalties a lot now just because it's been such an issue the last few weeks? Um, no, we just we want to do our job the best we can. If it's a penalty, it's a penalty, but we're going to move on. We're going to keep fighting. I mean, when it's when it's a penalty, you can't change it. It is what it is. Make the next play better. How do you feel, you guys, just kind of going back to that Michigan game where it was a really tough day? You come back since then and kind of, kind of rally, maybe? Um, I think we've just been doing what we've been taught, trusting our technique, and just really counting on our man to our left, man to our right, just believing in ourselves, believing in our coaches, and believing in our teammates. And I think it's just we're, we're on the right track to where we need to go. When you, uh, today at practice, what do you sense the, the spirit of things were? Uh, really the same as always. I mean, this group of guys, like, it's a great group of guys from really seniors to freshmen. Like, we've... We've got the work ethic, like well, no matter what happens the day before or the week before, like what's our main focus is that day and we're gonna give it everything we got from just effort, technique. We're gonna try and make it as perfect as we can. When you see the when you have the see the number of yards you yeah, put up the last couple of weeks and and then with the penalties, I mean is it is it frustrating, is it encouraging, is it both? I mean really it's both. I mean like we're getting we're getting production, but we're shooting ourselves in the foot. I mean we're we're driving the ball down, and then all of a sudden that big play's negated because I had a hold. I mean it's frustrating. Like no one no one wants that. Like we want it to be perfect. We want we want to win games, plain and simple. But we just kept hurting ourselves in the end to where everything that we got moving forward either got brought back or just was negated. Uh, I mean, really, I mean, Adrian, he's, he's, an, he's an amazing player. I mean, he's an 18-year-old kid that came in and took the reins of really a, a good Big Ten offense. I mean, the only difference is, is he's pretty mobile. I mean, he's, a, he's definitely, definitely a switch up from a pocket passer, and it's a little more exciting, especially when he decides to scramble, just trying to just give him all the time in the world. So, I mean, like, he's a, he's a young quarterback, so, I mean, we just got to give him as much time as he wants. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Is there something in particular you have to do as a lineman when you have a quarterback like that where you know he could, he could end up at any point on the field when he's trying to throw the ball? Um, for the most part, I mean, the easiest way to negate that is just give him a good pocket. I mean, if we, if we open up windows, if we lock our guys down and he can just sit there all day, then it makes our job a lot easier. If he does end up getting flushed out, then it's just try and get as close as you can to him and stop the nearest guy from getting close. What's, what's he like in the huddle? Uh, well, we don't really huddle, yeah, but on the sideline, I mean, yeah. he's, for an 18 year old, I mean, he's amazing. Like, he's, he's a calm demeanor guy. He's, he's never down on himself. He's always wanting to push it forward. I mean, he's, he's going to be a fantastic player and even better than what he is now. You guys, even with the number of veteran guys you have on offense, have you seen his, his leadership role change maybe even since camp ended? I, I'd say he's gotten a little more vocal since he's getting more comfortable around the guys and more comfortable with the offense. And I think it's, he's also believing in himself more because, I mean, he's, he's doing amazing things. I mean, it's, it's just he's getting more comfortable. He's becoming more confident. And he's just turning into an all-around great leader, great person, and great player. As a guy who still has a couple of years of eligibility left, can you allow yourself to look at the, the big picture at all, what you're trying to build over the next couple of years? I mean, I mean honestly, like, I, see, I see what we're going to be, and I know what we're going to be, but my main focus is now. I mean, I'm not really a guy that's going to be like, uh, we'll get it next week, or we're gonna get it tomorrow. Like I want it now. Like I want it now, and I'm, that's my main focus is right in here, right now. You, you guys get to play against the defense all the time. I mean, how much, how much steps have you seen them take 
Uh, I, they've been growing week by week, day by day. I mean, they've they come off the ball harder. They strike harder. I mean, it's just every day it's they've been getting better and better from our starters to our twos to our scout team guys. I mean, it's a team that's constantly growing, and it's it's really encouraging from all around. I mean, this like despite our record, people are still coming to work from the top down, and it's just really it's really encouraging. Matt, have you got a look at Um, I haven't gotten too in depth with their scout. I know they're, uh, I know they're a little bit bigger on the DN side, so I'm just kind of, I'm still pretty basic on what I know about them. They've given you guys some problems though in the past, just with their front uh, and what they do. I mean, what are some of the things that jumped out just in your experience watching and playing against Northwestern? Um, they just, they come to work. I mean. They're a team that's not going to back down. They're a team that's going to fight with everything they got. And I mean, it's always respectable. I mean, I love games like that. I, I love going against teams that refuse to quit and will always fight. Are there some uh, young guys we don't know as much about who aren't starting on that line that you see like, okay, they're, they're starting to get it? Um, yeah, I'd say there's a few guys. I mean, uh, from like, I'd say uh, Sichterman, uh, my backup. He's he's grown a tremendous amount. I mean, he's always encouraging. Like, I mean, he's gonna he constantly pushes me to be better and better. Uh, Christian, he's he's always been a uh, solid technique guy. He's he's always you know he's there. He's gonna do what he can the best he can. And then uh, John, he's he too is just they're all. It's really just we're all. It's a sound group that's always gonna be pushing each other, which is always something fun to have. Um, for the most, I think he's doing pretty well. I mean, he's getting used to guys being a little bit bigger than him now, especially with you know like uh, the twins, Carlos Khalil, Damian. I think he's getting used to kind of having a little bit of a weight disadvantage, especially since he's younger. But I think he's doing pretty well when he's uh, standing on his own.